football scooter as a unique set of bumper cars at Europa Park. Unlike most dodgems where the sole objective is to ram other vehicles, this ride turns it into a sport. As the name suggests, guests are placed in a soccer arena and they try to score goals. This makes the experience quite addictive, and I'll explain why in this review. Europa Park added this attraction back in 2006. It was placed in the English section of the park. The ride is housed in the Arena of Football Dome. I feel like a few guests may miss this ride, but it's easy to spot if you know what to look for, as there is a giant cleat and oversized soccer ball on the exterior. The interior has a merchandise shop and a bar, but the focal point is the football scooter attraction. This is placed in the lower level in Europa Park Stadium, so guests can observe the action from above, mimicking an actual soccer stadium. And this ride is just as fun to watch as it is to ride. There are two teams. The colors sometimes change year to year, but as of this recording, they are red and black. When I have experienced this attraction, there have been eight cars per team. While each car can accommodate two riders, most people understandably ride alone, so there's usually 16 riders per cycle. While each cycle does not hold a tremendous amount of people, the ride is usually a walk-on. Part of the reason is that this ride loads much quicker than Dodgeons in the United States. This one has shoulder straps available, but they are not mandatory. The operator just spot checks that everyone is seated before starting the ride. The ride then fittingly begins with a whistle. Football Scooter is a Bertazon model with cars powered through the floor. The cars have solid speed and power, and you can get some impactful collisions for two reasons. One, the arena is wide open without any divider, so you can hit cars at any angle. I saw plenty of head-on collisions, and the operator did not care one bit. Two, many people are laser focused on the soccer ball, so if you want to instead go around clobbering people, most guests will not see it coming, and you will not get a red card here. The reactions are priceless. While I do enjoy doing this every so often, I much prefer trying to score a goal. It's the unique aspect of the attraction after all. Now the ball is not a soccer ball. Rather, it is a large exercise ball. This is a smart decision because it has a lot of surface area, and it's bouncy. The objective is to push it into the goal, but this is much harder than it sounds for two reasons. First, the goal is not flush with the floor. I suspect it was raised so crashing a car into the goal doesn't trip the sensor that someone scored. So you have to get the ball airborne to score. This can be pretty difficult to get the right angle to score. Second, the ride is like kindergarten soccer. What that means is that it's pure unorganized chaos. Everyone runs towards the ball with no semblance of strategy. This often causes the ball to get stuck between multiple cars. Worst of all is if it gets stuck against the wall. For this reason, I actually prefer this attraction when it is not fully loaded. It is easier to score when there are less people about. On average, I would say you only see a score every 2-3 to three cycles, but it is so rewarding when you finally score. Not only is it an accomplishment, but it is a spectacle. The goal lights up in LEDs. Then you have an audio track of fans going wild. I also witnessed a few people throwing the ball, which is obviously a big no-no in soccer. From what I saw, the operator did not care if you gently moved the ball if it was stuck against a wall. Likewise, they didn't care if you gently bopped the ball if it started bouncing on the hood of your vehicle. However, they did care when someone picked the ball up and did a Donkey Kong style throw across the arena, although it was admittedly quite funny to watch. The whole cycle lasts two minutes, which feels a bit short, but with the short cues, you can easily run back around and often board the next cycle. This is what we did in our recent visit until we both scored. So what would I rate the football scooter? I am comparing this to other dodgems out there, and it earns a 9 out of 10. This is easily one of the best sets of bumper cars in the world. The unique soccer aspect 100% makes the experience. I have never seen that feature in any other version. 
and as someone who loves sports, this is an absolute delight. It is a bit tricky to score, but it is so fun trying. Sure, there are versions out there with stronger cars, but the cars are more than adequate here, and the arena setup allows for opportunistic collisions. This is one of the more underrated attractions at Europa Park, and it is well worth checking out. So those are my thoughts on Football Scooter. What are your thoughts on this attraction? Have you ever scored a goal on it? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you consider subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.